Well, the chief blames a bad divorce and alcohol abuse for what he did years ago, and he says there's a reason why these accusations are coming out now. Honesty, integrity, and experience. That's how Wayland officials described Sean Gibbons a year ago when they hired him to be the town's police chief. But less than three months later, two department employees came forward, saying they'd been the victims of sexual misconduct by Gibbons. And we put him on, basically put him on leave in March of 2022. According to a report issued by an outside investigator, one employee claims to have been sexually assaulted by Gibbons in 2003 in the basement of his home. Another says Gibbons got them drunk and had sex with them in 2010 during a police conference in Springfield. The investigator determined Gibbons violated the department's sexual harassment policy. It was that investigation that, that happened afterwards, and I think a lot of this still... People are reading for the first time some of this information right now. Gibbons issued a statement saying the relationships were consensual and saying it's, quote, no coincidence that the allegations against me were made shortly after some of the complainants were not chosen for promotion. According to state records, Gibbons' salary last year totaled more than $165,000. The town says his contract requires him to be paid two more years of salary, despite the policy violations. Officials say they will review why such a contract was signed. There is an opportunity to, to relook at some of our practices, and that is one of them. The investigators' report also details a 2010 incident in which Gibbons chased a car that crashed. Another police employee came upon the scene of that crash and says Gibbons prevented them, stopped them from trying to check on the driver. That driver died. Live in Wheeling, David Munich, WCVB News Center 5. David, thank you for that.